Hello Python programmers. So in this video, we'll discuss that how you can create a push-up counter program using Python. Now you have already seen the output of the project. So there is no point in further explanation. Let's start creating it real quick. Now the first part is to install the required libraries. So quickly open the CMG and write pip install open CV Python. Now for me, this package is already installed. Okay. Now the next uh, package is media pipe. So pip install. Yeah. Media pipe. Now this is a much bigger package. So it may take some time for you, but for me, it was already installed. Now with the requirements being done, let's get to our editor and start writing our code. Okay. So now we are into our editor. So first of all, we have to import the required libraries. First is open CV or CV2. Then we have to import media pipe. The short notation that we'll assign to media pipe is uh, MD, let's say. And uh, this is all we need. After this, we'll create some class instances. So let me write them real quick. Then I'll explain you. Okay, so now let me explain you them real quick. So first of all, we have imported the drawing utils from our media pipe. This will be used to draw the points and uh, all the lines on the body or the object. Then this is for a specific style. Okay, drawing styles. Then this is the main function here or this is the main model here. Okay, so we are using media pipe pose model. Now media pipe has multiple models. Let me show you. Okay, so media pipe has multiple models. Some of them are compatible with Python. As you can see, face detection is compatible with Python. Face mesh is compatible with Python. I have created separate videos for all of them. If you want, you can check out with the link in the description. So this pose one, this pose is also compatible with Python. Okay. As you can see, this will help us to get the points of our shoulders, our hands, our face. Okay. So before I go ahead, let me explain you the concept that we'll be using to count the push up. Okay. So what is happening here is let me open this one real quick. So what is happening here is we are taking four points. First are two shoulders. Now, uh, where's the point. Okay. So we are taking the points or the coordinates of our two shoulders, this uh, 11 and 12 coordinates, and we are taking this 13 and 14th coordinate. So we'll count a push up if the shoulder is below the knee. Okay. Now these things will make more sense when we'll write the condition. This was just a brief concept overview of how we'll count the push up. Okay. This was just a brief introduction. These things will make more sense once we are writing the conditions. Okay. We'll come back once again here so that I can explain you how we'll count the push up. Okay. Don't worry about that. So let's go back to the editor. Okay. So this is a brave ad notification. No. I'm recording a video right now. Okay. So we have called our classes, which will be required for our project two to draw and one to get the pose. Okay. Now the task can be completed by only using the pose because we only want the coordinates. But for the sake of this video, I want to show you that how my shoulders are going below my elbows. Actually, I said knees before. So, uh, sorry for that. What I meant was my elbows. So these dots and lines will show you that how my shoulders are going below my elbows and how we are counting them as one push up. Okay. Then we have to create two variables. First is count. This variable will have the number of push ups and this is the position. Okay. Now don't worry about these variables for now. I'll explain you that how these are working in our program. Then, uh, cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture. Okay. Now there are multiple methods to take the input from the webcam. Uh, sorry, to take the video input. Most basic method is to take the input from the webcam. You can also take the input from any external Wi-Fi cam. You can take the input from the phone camera. I have all the videos for you. All the videos link will be provided in the description. So let me write the code real quick. Now this V and C should be capital. Okay. As you know, Python is case sensitive. 
and this zero means that we are taking the input from the webcam then uh, with md uh, pose dot pose we are calling this uh, class here we'll take two parameters first is min detection okay this is the sensitivity of the detection min detection confidence is 0 0.7 okay this is the accuracy of the detection of your features or the coordinates okay then we have min tracking confidence same here for the moment okay min tracking confidence is also 0 0.7 now you can play along with these values if you want 0 0.7 works for me okay as pose let me add some space here okay as pose uh, now we'll create a while loop which will be open for the time the video is running or our webcam is open okay uh, while cap dot is uh, opened i guess o is capital okay is opened now we'll create the exit condition inside this loop okay don't worry about that because this will keep on running if we don't have any exit condition inside this loop okay then success comma image is equal to cap dot read okay so we are reading the webcam data and the success message okay we'll read two variables this image is actually the video coming from the webcam and this success variable will have the success message whether we are getting the input from the webcam or not okay uh, then if not success uh, if the webcam is not returning any video uh, then we'll simply print empty camera camera it should be a string and we'll break this loop okay so this was if we are not getting any input from the webcam if we are getting the input from the webcam first of all we have to convert the image into rgb okay opencv video capture method returns a pgr format image okay blue green red format image but media pipe works on rgb format images so we need to convert from bgr to rgb for this we'll use the cvt color class so let me write the code real quick okay so this is the code for that we are using the cvt color class from our open cv first we have to flip the image as we are getting the flipped image from open cv so flip class from open cv the parameters are first the image variable the video coming from the webcam and one this is the value we have to flip the image completely okay then uh, this is the method that we are using cvt dot color bgr is blue green red to rgb which is self explanatory after this we'll uh, apply this post model to the video coming from our webcam okay so result is equal to pose dot process and we have to process this image variable okay uh, now we'll create a i am list variable okay this will be a empty list for now this list will have all the coordinates of all the points okay uh, these points this list will contain the 32 coordinates of this pose model okay so let's go back uh, now if result dot pose uh, landmark this will return true if we are getting any landmark from our video or if there is a body present in the video this will return true value if there is no body in the video it will return false okay uh, then what we'll do is we'll use the md drawing class to draw all the lines and all the dots so let me write the code real quick then i'll explain you that what are the parameters and what is all happening okay okay so now let me explain you all the parameters here as i have told you that we are using the draw landmarks class from our md drawing okay from our meta pipe drawing we are using the draw landmarks class these are the parameters inside first is the image on which we want to draw these landmarks then we have uh, result dot pose landmark okay these are all the landmarks or these are all the points okay these points then we have md pose this class here 
डॉट पोज कनेक्शन दीज आर ऑल दी लाइन विच कनेक्ट आर पोजेस और विच कनेक्ट दी डॉट देन दी नेक्स्ट टास्क इज टू गेट दी कॉर्डिनेट ऑफ ईच पॉइंट और ईच पोजिशन ऑन आर बॉडी बिकॉज वी नीड दीज फोर कॉर्डिनेट ओके वी नीड ट्वेल्व इलेवन थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन ओके so that we can create a push up counter so let me write code for that just give me a second okay so what we'll do is we'll get two values from our result dot pose landmarks dot landmark okay this will create a long list of all the landmarks then we'll iterate on all those values and we'll get two values okay first is the id this number okay we'll get this number and also the landmark okay now landmark are two values the x and y ratio values okay so for that first of all we need the shape of our video or the height and width of our video for that we'll use the shape class so image dot shape we'll get the height and width of our video then we'll multiply that value with the ratio to get the exact coordinate of that specific body point okay and then after this what we'll do is we'll append all this data into this i am list variable okay and finally we have got all the coordinate points okay all the 32 coordinates of these points okay so let me close this and let me append all these values into this i am list variable so uh i am list dot append and uh, what we have to append we have to append first of all the id and then x and y variable okay so let's talk about the mechanics now when we do push up there are two stages first we are up and second when we are down or first position is when the knees sorry when the elbows are below our shoulders and second position is when our shoulders are below our elbows we need to complete two positions first we have to go down then we have to go up this will complete one push up so let me write the condition for those two positions so let me open the browser and show you the points okay so just a sec okay 12 and 11 are our shoulders so if they are greater than 13 and 14 13 and 14 are the elbows then we can say that the position is down okay same shoulders okay the same shoulders value is less than the elbow then we can say the person is up and the push up is complete okay and also we we need to confirm uh we need to confirm one more value which is the position is down okay so the person has went down and then went up this completes one push up and we can increment the count by one initially the value of count was zero now the count value is plus one and then we can print the count okay so this completes the uh, push up counter program but there is some things left first of all we have to show the output to the user we have to show how he is doing the push up or whether his shoulders are going below the elbows or not so for that we have to show the output to the user we also have to create the exit condition okay so let's create that real quick okay so we are using the i am show method of our open cv to show the output to the user the text on this uh, gui will be push up counter then we will flip the image as i have told you here we have flipped the image so we need to flip that once again then this is the exit condition first of all we are creating a wait key and this wait key is of the order q or we are pressing the q button and if this condition is true this break will be executed and we'll exit out our while loop okay then we have cap dot release or we'll release our webcam okay so let me run this real quick so that i can see whether all my spellings or all the commands are correct okay so let me save it and let me run it real quick okay so we are getting a error because this is okay okay so this is outside the loop let me check this once again 
Okay, so this should be uh, politely inside. Okay, let me run this. Uh, okay. Okay, so module media pipe has no solution. Okay. Actually, it should be solutions. It should be solutions. So media pipe dot python dot solution dot pose has no attribute as pose connection. Okay. So let me see if the spelling is correct or not. Actually, it should be connections, I guess. I guess it should be connections. Okay, so this is saying that uh, list index is out of range. Okay. Uh, let me check this. One eternity later. Okay, so I am back. Now, I know it took me a lot of time to find the error. It was right in front of me, but still it took me longer than I expected. So, let me explain you what the error was and what are some of the changes that you have to make in your program. You just have to add one line. Okay. So, what was happening before was, even when there is no uh, shoulder or basically, even when there was no human in front of the webcam, this condition was running. So, what was happening was, if there was a human in front of the webcam, then everything was running fine. As soon as there was no one in front of camera or no human in front of camera, what was happening was, this im list variable was empty. And since we are comparing empty list here, these indexes were out of index okay and this was the reason why this uh, program was saying that the list is out of index okay to solve this error you have to do one thing you have to write this line so if len of i am list is not equal to zero which simply means that if the list is not empty if we are having a human in front of the webcam if this i am list is not empty uh so yeah this was all that you have to do and then you have to indent it accordingly. You have to uh, write these two conditions inside this condition. Okay. I'll provide the code link in the description. You can download from there. And yeah, this is it. This was a short video in which I have shown you that how you can create a push-up counter program using Python. Now, I have planned many videos on this uh, meetup I pose package. So, stay connected and I'll meet you in my next lecture. Bye-bye.